Hi, welcome back to Danny Harris Arts. This is part three of the Channel Catfish Carving Project. And today I'm going to be finishing up the gill detail in the mouth. I'm also going to be drawing on the muscle structure and carving that into the relief into the, the relief of that into the body. I've also made off camera, I made the whiskers. And uh, I've got several of them here, and I'll show you that here as it gets closer. Um, to go on top of the head and on the, on the chin here but uh, so but that's what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be uh, cleaning it up texture adding the fins and the whiskers so get the camera turn around here and get started So what I'll do next here is I'll uh, figure out the pattern for the uh, the muscle structure that you can see. Let's see, I'll get one of these. Uh, if you can see it in the, you can see it in this picture here pretty good. You can see the structure, the muscle pattern in there. So. Need to draw the lateral line in and then uh, put that muscular segments in there. So. Also, going to have a little bit of a tooth patch. They have a pretty good tooth patch on the upper and lower part of the mouth, so I'm going to put that in. Uh, but right now, I'm going to get the lateral line drawn on here and Start putting that in. lateral line is raised just a tiny bit I'm gonna to try to get that effect in there what I'll do is I'll go on both sides of this pencil line If you look at it real close, it almost looks like a little dotted line. So once I get this on there, I'll go back and put a little series of dots on the top of it. Just to give it a little bit of texture. I think I need to make them a little 
just a little deeper than what I think I need to be. Then I'm going to go back over them with a bigger uh, diamond bit. And then it'll kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then I'll do a final sanding on top of that to just kind of round everything off right. So I just uh, took this file and lightly sanded it down just to kind of smooth off the edges. So you can see a little bit of that muscle texture in there. See if I can get it just right here. You can see it pretty good there. And I think once it gets the paint on it, that'll kind of smooth that out even more. All right, let me get this other side done. Okay, I'm trying to get the little spines, these um, on the dorsal fins and pectoral fins, they got a real a real heavy spiky top spine and they have uh, they have little uh, barbs on them so I'm trying to get appearance of little barbs on it I'm using a real tiny skinny little needle diamond bit and I'm just letting it use it to uh, Make it appear like little barbs on that. Is that showing or not? All right, so now I'm ready to put the fins, glue the fins and whiskers in. Um, I've got the detail done on the little sp spines and spikes. And then I'm going to get it all uh, put together here. I may need to... No, I'll go ahead and do it. So, a lot of guys use... And I started off using... Um, Bondo. To add the fins. I've had people ask me about this. And, and I see a lot of guys that use Bondo to put the fins in. But... To me, it's just an extra unneeded step because this uh, this thick set super glue holds them in place and they're not going anywhere. Um, and it's much easier, less messy, and it works fine. So I'm gonna put these in. And I'm just gonna put, um, dab of glue all the way around it just so that it's touching all surfaces actually I'm going to spray a little bit of this quick set in there And 
and that's going nowhere. Now I'll still use epoxy sculpt to blend in the fins to the body. The adipulse fan here. This isn't, this isn't actually a fin, it's a, uh, they think it's a sensory organ. Oh crud, I just did it, dang it. You hear that snap? <laughs> uh. Let me fix that real quick. Be careful with that now. All right, so before I glue the whiskers on, I'm going to um, make sure they're where I want them to be. And then I need to, I'm gonna drill holes for the um, small ones on the top and the chin. And then the bigger ones will just get glued on the side. Let me get these holes marked and drilled. All right, I just looked at some reference photos. And I think I got a mark placed where I want them. And I'm just gonna drill some little holes here. So when I made these, um, 
whiskers. This is this will be two, but so I'll cut them in half, and then uh, and then they will get uh, glued in the holes that I drill. Um, so these will be the whiskers on top of the head. Actually, these will be the whiskers on top of the head. And then these will be the ones on the bottom jaw. And then of course the longer ones here will be for the side whiskers. So um, let me get a lot bigger drill bit here. Or bigger. Probably should have mentioned here that when I was rolling these this clay out, I pressed it up against the little part of the mouth here to fit it to uh, impress the uh, shape. So and after I baked it, it fits it perfect.
it's starting to look like a catfish. Okay, that's going to do it for part three of the channel catfish wood carving project. As you can see, I've got the whiskers done and I did it using polymer clay and they're, they're kind of flexible and I just think they look a little more organic than uh, brass or nails. You know, a lot of guys will use brass, put a brass rod in a drill and, and file it down and shape it. Um, which which works, but to me this was much more easy. Uh, they they're flexible, and they just look more organic. And especially and this polymer clay takes paint well also. So uh, once it gets painted, um, I think it's going to look as natural as it can be. So but the fins are done. I got the the muscle structure carved into the body, and um, step four will be painting. So I appreciate y'all watching. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. And uh, see y'all on part four painting.